Why is it Mickey's always late whenever there's work involved? I mean, if it was free food or beer, he'd be here ASAP. Wouldn't be Mick if he wasn't late. More coffee, darling? Absolutely. I mean, I like the guy. It's just, he's a bit of a flake. You don't like being 30 minutes late. Here. Relax. His wife's probably tearing him a new asshole over his own shit. He'll be here. Ah, damn What's the matter? Oh, arthritis, man. Been bad all week. Uh, hey, 
Who are we gonna play some one on one? Anytime, old man. <laughs> you know I still got it, right? <laughs> Addy. Yeah, I worked a double yesterday. Rumor has it they're gonna be laying off the mill again. Yeah, I heard. Sign of the times, Bo. Take a look around. This place is had it. I don't know what I'm gonna do if I get laid off. Frank will hire you. Oh, fuck that cheap bastard. I learned that lesson a long time ago. Nah, if anything, I'll go work my cousin up in my first. It's a fucking 50 minute try. Hey, beggars can't be choosers, Chuck. How are things at the store? My old man is probably rolling in his grave right about now. How can that be? You're the only hardware store in what, 25 miles? Open your eyes, Bo. Do you not see these small stores closing up shop? Do you not see people leaving town? That camp blood bullshit didn't help matters any. Thank God Kathy makes good money, because without that, I'm up Shit's Creek. I love Crystal Lake. This is my home. But if shit don't change, and I'm talking soon, I may have to pull out and move to the city. That's where the money is. I have a family. What the hell are you gonna do in the city, Chuck? You gonna be a assistant manager at Channel Lumber? I mean, come on. I can see Kathy doing good things with her teaching. But let's be real, Chuck. Your criminal record is gonna pigeonhole you into being some retail manager's puppet, you know? Thanks, it, brother. This is as good as it gets. You know, you can be a real asshole. Who the fuck are you to throw my criminal record in my fucking face? You know what your problem is? You're still on that football field 30 years ago. Don't give me this shit now. No. You sling 30 pound bags at that mill every day for the past 18 years because that's the best failed football playing high school dropout can do around here. I give you credit. You had it all, Bo, once. You could have had a full ride on a sports scholarship to any school you wanted, but Ego Bo had to go and fuck that up, didn't he? Look, that's why you're sitting here rubbing your arthritis. You ain't an athlete. You don't understand the pressures. What pressures? It was junior year, Bo. It wasn't pressure, it was ego. You were king shit to a bunch of jock douchebags. You had to be a showboat at that homecoming game. Game you guys were winning with a 10 point spread. You blow out your knee with that idiotic maneuver of yours. And for what? How quickly did they turn their backs on you? And what do you do? You drop out. No, this is as good as it gets for you. Yeah, well, at least I don't prefer to be a puppet to some retail manager. It pains me to say it, Bo. But this town has seen its day. You don't need a high school diploma to understand that. Hey! All right. What I miss? You two at it again? You know, you guys argue more than me and my wife. You realize that? Worse than an old married couple. What are your damn food? You're late. Again. I told the old man we'd be there by nine. You know, these jobs are too far and few between. Chuck and I can't afford to take a bad rap on account of your bullshit. Morning, Patty. Uh, could I get a toasted brand muffin and a coffee? Sure, tell me that. <laughs> What's so funny? What the hell, Mick? A brand muffin? Or some real food? What's wrong with being regular? It's healthy. And we're all getting up there, you know. So how long you been constipated? Come on, I'm fucking eating here. Look, I'm sorry I'm late, all right? What? You're in the shitter all morning, Mr. Regular? No. Listen, I was backing out of my driveway Mick. when I could... I don't give a shit. Just get here on time. Bo is right. We can't afford to lose these side jobs. Hey guys, how you doing? Oh, hi Gary. Hey Gary. Good to see you. Here you go, man. Thanks, buddy. Mm -hmm. Hurry up and toss that shit maker down. We're late enough as it is. How's it going, fellas? How are you, Mac? I'm all right, I guess. You know, I almost took up on the way over here, on Pond Road. 
What you have, Mac? That coffee and the number three there. Oh, on Sample and Rhoda, are you serious? Encourage him, Mick. He ran right out in front of me and I slammed on my brakes. He stood and he looked right at me. And then he trotted off into the Camp Blood area. <laughs> that son of a bitch must be pushing 200 pounds. It's gotta be a 24 pointer. And he must be the biggest buck in the tri-state area. Well, you know, that deer has dodged every bullet in the in the whole state for, what, boat, 12 years? Yeah, sounds about right. He goes over to the Camp Blood side because he knows he's safe over there. Stop encouraging him, please. But you all know the legend, don't you? Here we fucking know. Yeah, yeah, Mac. We know the legend. I don't think I've heard about this before. What legend? Mac, you seriously need to stop telling this bullshit ghost story. It ain't no ghost story, Chuck. It's all true. How do you that buck got to be so big and strong over the years? I believe it. I really want to know more about this legend. Well, they say that big old buck is Pamela Voorhees reincarnated to watch over the woods of Camp Blood to keep anyone from venturing. Or well, maybe it's to tease the hunters to go back to the hollow ground so a boy can come out and grab up your souls. <laughs> yeah, have another bourbon, Mac. <laughs> it's true. He's smart. He, he's over there growing and he's living in the whole Camp Blood. No hunter dare go over there and get him. <laughs> That's uh, kind of creepy if you ask me. Patty, don't listen to this poor shit. It's just another ghost story to scare the kids. I believe it. My point exactly. Morning, y'all. Oh, I'll be I'll be right with you, on. Yes, sir. Pamela Voorhees is still with us, and her son Jason is alive and well, just waiting to finish his mother's work. You know, Mac, it's people like you that give this town a bad rep, turning what that psychopath did at that campground into legend. Chuck? Those boys have been nothing but trouble their entire lives. Innocent people died here, Mac, all on account of she wasn't watching her own goddamn son. She blamed the wrong people. And because of what she did, this fucking town has dried up and died. Chuck, that's enough. Yeah, yeah, that is enough. I'm out. I'll be out in the truck. Hurry the fuck up! I'm sorry that I asked. I believe it, Matt. All of it. As do I, my boy. Why? John? Oh. Hi, Johnny. What the hell's going on here? Nothing I can't handle on my own. You just relax. That's my favorite waitress deal. Chuck, you need to relax, man. You're gonna blow a freaking vessel in that thick head of yours. Stroke the fuck out. Then the real problems begin. Kathy and the kids will have a veggie to care for. You want that? Seriously, Chuck. You know Mac is just as crazy as... Morning, Ralph. <laughs> just as crazy as that motherfucker. Why do you let him get to you? You're fucking kidding me right now. You're the one who egged him on, shithead. It's guys like that who helped kill this town with that horse shit. My family opened that hardware store in the 20s. Now it's mine. If shit don't change, I may have to close up shop and pull out. That means you're out of a job, Mickey. Christie's cursed this town when they opened that goddamn campground. They hired that psycho bitch, she kills all those people, and now, after all these years, we're still suffering in this town. She wasn't even a town local. She was a transient from God knows where with that that mutant son of hers or whatever the fuck it was. Before that night, this town was flawless. Now look at us. This town needs some kind of redemption. You took the words right out of my mouth, man. Huh? I, I tell you later. I got, a, I got an idea. But let's go mend the old man's fence. You know, the sooner we get that done, the better. Last thing I need right now is to engage in one of your famous ideas. 
Yeah, the last time you came up with one of your half-baked ideas, my eyebrows got singed off for three months. Remember that, Chuck? <laughs> that was your fucking fault, not mine. Anyway, uh, let's get going. That old bastard might just stock our pet. Jesus Christ, what do you think happened to all those chickens? A, a bear? There's no bear around here, Mick. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, I don't know, Chuck, but well, that chicken over there looks like it got fucked by a cheese grater. The old man said he thought he saw somebody enter the barn from his kitchen window. The old man's losing his mind. He's paranoid living out here on the outskirts of town. Whatever. I'm just glad we got done earlier than I thought. Uh, yeah. Fucking knee is killing me. When is your knee not killing you, uh, Ego Bo? <laughs> ego Bo, Ego Bo. <laughs> I don't need your shit now, Chuck, man. I'm beat. You know, I'm so glad I'm always on the outside looking in on your little lover's quarrels. It's quite entertaining, you know. <laughs> shut the hell up, Mick. Yeah, Mick, shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right, let's get the fuck out of here. You know what? I think we deserve a beer. Bo, I can't just piss away the hundred dollars I just made. I said a beer, not seven. Besides, I got that idea I want to run by you guys. I've been thinking about it more. Shit, I was hoping you'd forget. <laughs> on, one beer. All right, one, then home. All right, just one. I don't need my wife complaining that I'm out having fun without her. God forbid. <laughs> Some things never change, Mick. What? Richie fucking Cuntingham? When are you gonna grow up and get a new fucking shirt? Hey. <laughs> you know, I can't believe you guys don't like happy days. It's the same shit since high school, Mick. All you talked about was, I love Lucy. Howdy fucking duty. No wonder you never got laid. Hey, <laughs> I was a late bloomer. I wanted my first to be special. Yeah. So special you married her. Your fist was your last. Haha. <laughs> uh -huh. You wish you had what me and Susan have. Have? You mean she has. She's your balls in her purse. <laughs> hey, mother! Holy shit! Oh, Christ! I'm so sorry. Bud? Bud! Man, you can't be doing that. I think I shit my pants. I didn't mean to give you a scare there. <laughs> you okay, Mickey? No. Don't worry. Potsy here will be fine. I just came to say, bang up job on the fence. Really great work, fellas. Anytime, bud. Thanks for the extra work. We could sure use it. Let us know when you want us to come back and fix that door for you. Still can't figure what could tear up a fence like that, though. Probably just a fox or something. I wouldn't worry about it anymore. Fox my ass. Well, maybe. Well, anywho, thanks again, gentlemen. Yeah, take care of yourself, Chief. Stop the truck, stop the truck. What? What? Oh. Did you forget something? Uh no. Just just tired. I need that beer.
How are Pete and the kids? Oh, that's what I need to talk to you about. Now, let's go over here. I've no need for the world to hear. What's going on? How long we known each other, Chuck? Thirty-something years since sophomore year, right? Yeah, something like that. What's the matter, Marcy? Well, it, it's Pete. You know they let him go at the mill, right? They're not taking him back. It, it's just me bringing in cash now and already pulling doubles here at the lodge. It, it's just not cutting it. Yeah, I heard about them laying people off from Bo this morning. I'm really sorry. This town's falling apart and I don't want to go into why again. It, it, it's killing all of us. Look, Chuck, I wouldn't be asking if I wasn't at my wit's end. Pete has his fucking pride. He's not gonna come begging to you, but is there any way you can bring him on at the store? I can't, Marcy. Oh, uh, Chuck, even part-time. Shit, he can do anything. Stock shelves, deliveries, whatever you got. Marcy, I can't. I can barely afford to keep Mickey on. I haven't given a raise in a year. You know, I'm about this close to pulling out a Dodge myself. Look. Have Pete collect and look for a job outside of Crystal Lake. Worst comes to worst, he'll have to commute to a job. That fucking woman. She destroyed this town. We got nothing. All those murders. Here, why? I know. I'm tired of thinking about it daily. I'd love to forget about it. But you see what it does to us on a daily basis and... It's like pouring salt on the damn wounds. You and Peter are a prime example. Look, things have to change, but it's gonna take some time. Just do what I say and try to stay positive. Yeah, I, I get it, Chuck. Hey, thanks for at least listening. Take care of yourself, Marcy. Tell Pete and the kids I said hey. You're gonna grow the fuck up, Nick. Asshole. Oh. Wow, man. This town has had it. You guys remember when we could hardly get a table in here on a Sunday night? Yeah. It's fucking depressing, man. At this rate, Crystal Lake will be an empty shell by 1990. Yeah. Kind of makes you think, huh? It ain't one. It's both of you killjoys. Must we always be prophets of doom? Shit, I got one life to live. I'd like to enjoy it while I'm here. Me? I'm always happy. I'm only stating the obvious, Bo. Killjoy. You don't fucking get it. You're not married. No kids. No mortgage. You live in a shithole apartment that you can afford to lose. Nick and I don't have that luxury. Yeah, I got it so good. You think I like my life? Let me tell you one thing that's true, Chuck. I made my bed. So did you. You too, Mick. No, this is as good as it gets. There's no pot of gold at the end of this rainbow, so we make it work. You're getting philosophical on me, Bo? <laughs> I'm impressed. Listen, like I said earlier, I have an idea. I was thinking about stuff that Mac said this morning. For the love of Christ. Hear me out, Chuck. I've had my fill of this shit for one lifetime. Hear me out. It's about Buster. That deer has avoided every hunter in this town. Other towns, too. You know, they even had sightings of Buster in PA. Well, not anymore. The buck stops here. <laughs> the buck stops here. Bo made a funny. <laughs> Will you shut the fuck up, please? Hey, hey, please. guys. Dorian sent these over on the house. Thanks, Julia. Thank you. Cheers, guys. 
But seriously, what if we were to hunt and kill that deer? Can you imagine a big fucking buck going through town on the hood of the green machine? We, we'd be heroes and rid this town of one more ghost story. You know, guys, there is some truth to Mac's story. About two months ago, I saw a buster on Sand Pond Road, almost exactly like Mac's story this morning. I had to come to a complete stop in my truck. And there he was. He, he just stood there, glaring at me, with no fear whatsoever. It was a staring contest for, for five minutes. He was fixed on me, and I was fixed on him. Couldn't look away. And then he just turned his head and slowly walked over to the camp blood side, but not without turning around and looking at me one more time. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Give me the chills. You do realize you're a grown man, right? Come on, seriously. What do you guys think? What makes you think we can get him, Bo? You definitely don't get that big and smart not knowing how a man thinks and knowing those woods all these years. He's a big fucker. Fast, too. What kind of game for that? Well, let's do it, Chuck. Friday morning. Early. We go to Camp Crystal Lake. <clears throat> Nobody goes in there or hunts there for that matter. No fucking way! I'm not going in there, Bo! Cursed or not, it's private property. The bank owns it, Mick. The Christies are all dead. You're both wrong. It's state police jurisdiction. Not that the cops give a flying fuck about Crystal Lake anyway. Come on. It'll be fun. It'll be just like old times. We need this. Look, I, I'd like to bag that buck as much as the other hunters in the area. But let's be real, Bo. We can't risk hunting on police property. No, this sounds like ego Bo talking. You still have a chip on your shoulder after all these years about being the big man on campus. Mr. Hero. We're not in high school anymore, Bo. We can get arrested for this shit. Come on, I, I've got nothing to prove here. I just want to live out a couple more adventures in my old age. You know, as for the cops, you said it yourself, Chuck. No one gives a fuck. No one's even going to know or care that we're there. You said this town is dying. So let's bring down that old buck and bring glory back to Crystal Lake again. We will be the saviors. I don't know, guys. There's no trails anymore. Look, everything's grown over, and, and I'm sure it's not safe to walk around anymore. Besides, the idea gives me the creeps. You know, when I'm passing the main driveway to the camp on my way home, <laughs> I keep my eyes forward and the pedal to the metal. You know, they never did find that kid, Jason. Will you stop it, please? They never found his body, Chuck. Hello, Bruce. Hey, Julie. I want to settle up. Sure, Chuck. One more shot for the road? Yeah, that sounds good. Thanks. Thank you. Cheers. I think your friends went back to the fire pit. Thanks. We do this, Bo. One day, in and out. If we don't bag him, that's the way that one went. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't I get a say in this? One day, in and out. One more condition. Name it. I want that fucker's head hanging on my wall. I need a trophy like that to get people into the store. Deal. What the hell do I get out of all this? You can have my share of the meat. Yeah, you can have mine too, you fat fuck. Fuck you, you son of a... All the meat? Sure. 
Now look, I got a bad feeling about this, you know. My gut is saying, fuck no. But you're my boys. All right, I'm in. But, Bo, just promise me we're out before dark. Out before dark, Mick. All right, here's the Friday. It's a Friday. Friday it is. There are friends, there are acquaintances, but who you gonna call it for in the morn? Like a friend who will hang out down at the Waffle House when you're trying to sober up from the night before. Everybody needs a friend like that. Want to share his last six pack A friend who will be there forevermore You need someone Who can make you shake the blues Brother to brother A friend through and through Someone to talk to When you don't know what to do Take a bullet for you It's last call Start a fight with a whole damn bar And you got my back even though you know we're gonna lose This is it, boys. Our claim to fame. Man, I couldn't sleep a wink last night knowing we were going in there. Come on, you don't really think nobody's ventured in there since that bullshit happened, do you? Trapper Bill did, remember? He was on the other side of the lake uh, near Packenack. He, he got lost for a couple days. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember. He, didn't he get drunk and, and lose his way or something? Who the fuck knows? You know, he, he said he got dizzy and passed the fuck out and woke up, didn't know where he was. And, Wandered around for a while, and then Sheriff found him, huddled up against a tree, mumbling about something, being chased or stalked by something. Oh, great, Bo. That's just the kind of shit I want to hear before we go in there. <laughs> Relax. It's all bullshit. Trapper Bill was medicated. You know, if he mixes Johnny Walker with it, forget about it. He's a fucking idiot. 
Let's go, boys. Get your shit. I like to call this Mickey's little insurance policy. <laughs> All right, guys, we need a solid plan here. Okay, so what's the plan? We don't separate for anything. We stick close, side by side. We'll move nice and slow, same pace. I figured it should take us about 45 minutes to hit the water's edge. Agreed. Spread out, no more than 40 yards apart. Always panning back and forth, keeping eye contact on the keys, and use hand signals. Like this? Really, Bo? <laughs> Relax. Ah, agreed. Oh, hey, by the way, I got some stogies for when we bag that butt. Aces. Guys, listen. What now, Mick? Shh, listen. It's like the sound completely stopped when we stepped over that wire. No birds, no sound, nothing. Come on, man. You're freaking yourself out. If you're gonna push out like this through the whole hunt, get back in the truck, go back to town, and pick us up at sundown. All right, enough of this horse shit. Let's move. Asshole. I haven't been here five fucking minutes. They're here, they don't belong here. Check it out.
Shit. We're close. I got a bad feeling about this, guys. I haven't seen or heard shit since we entered these woods. Since when has a deer ever just walked up to us? It's Buster we're talking about. You'd hear that bastard a mile away. I don't know, guys. Since we entered these woods, I haven't seen any kind of animal. Not even a damn chipmunk. So what, you guys are done just like that? Did I say that, Bo? It's only been 45 minutes. Bo, I never said we were done. You guys gave me a full day in here. I never said we were done, Bo. Mickey, can we just go to the lake area for Christ's sakes? All right, Bo, just move. See, I'm not sure. I didn't see shit. What'd you see, Meg? I'm not sure, but I could tell you, it wasn't a deer. Oh, fuck, Mick again. Shh, hey, keep it down. Guys, I grew up in these woods. Don't you think I know a damn deer if I saw one? Look, all I know is it was fast as hell and it, it ran upright. Uh, can't with this guy. You need a shot, man. Take this. We all do. <laughs> Jesus. Is there any left? Here. Take this, man. You need it more than we do. Maybe I'm seeing things. Maybe it's the shadows in the trees or something. But it looked real. Relax. Look. be doing this? I'm, this is really pushing the limit, don't, don't you think? What the fuck are you talking about, man? We're here. Aren't you the least bit curious? Don't you want to take a look around? You see, this is exactly what I was talking about. We're losing focus, guys. This is not what we came out here for. We're here for Buster. Mickey, Buster could very well be nestled in these grounds somewhere. We came all this way. We're going to cover all the bases. But, but I haven't seen any tracks that indicate that any- Nick. We have to go through the campground to get to the lake, don't we? We have to go through here regardless. I'm not backtracking a whole fucking hour because you're too chicken shit to go through here. Fine. But I'm not happy about it. Noted. Now shut the fuck up. Please stay still up. Fucking shame. This should never happen. Well, I've had my fill. Can we get a move on now? We're here for Buster. We should check these cabins. No, 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 fuck no. Haven't you guys ever watched any horror movies in your damn lives? This is the money shot. We need to leave now. Stand here, keep watch. 10 minutes, we'll be out of here. Bullshit. We agreed not to separate. We're not separating. We're gonna be right over there for Christ's sake. God damn it. I knew you guys would do this to me. 
shut your mouth. Yeah, let us know if you hear anything. Anything real. Hurry the fuck up. Asshole. Got Bo. Look at this. What the fuck? Is that? Yeah, man. Jason. What the hell? Holy shit. Get the fuck out of here! Holy Whoa! shit! Seriously, there's something. Whoa. What the fuck is that? You guys smell that? Something dying here? Jesus fuck, Mickey. You scared the shit out of me. I almost shot you, goddammit! What the fuck is wrong with you? I was waiting out there, just like you told me to, and I thought I heard something walking around the camp. Buster? It's gotta be. What'd you guys find? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Come on, clock's ticking. Yeah, man. Fix your tampon, let's go. Chuck! Chuck, this is them! This is them, guys! Look at that fucking kid. We know, Mick. It doesn't mean anything. I told you guys this was a bad idea. Now someone's living in this cabin and gathering this shit. This would not be in there for the hell of it. Mickey, I've had enough of this shit for today. You're getting on my last fucking nerve now. We're done here. We're moving on. No, I'm done. I'm going back to the truck and waiting. I didn't sign up for this bullshit. You guys go on your little fucking adventure. Get yourselves killed. I'm out. You need to relax right now. This was the plan. You knew we'd end up here. Mick. Chuck, let him go. I'm tired of babysitting his ass anyway. You know what, Bo? I know how your mind works. This was probably your intention, huh? Always showing off. Oh, what, did you plan on doing this so you could go back into town and tell everybody, hey, I ventured through Camp Blood? You never thought of anyone but yourself in high school and you're still the same 30 years later. You'll never change. Once an asshole, always an asshole. And another thing, at least me and Chuck have someone to go back to. We have wives, you don't have anybody. You couldn't get laid in a whorehouse, you piece of shit. You know what, pussy? I dated women with bigger balls than you. All right, all right, enough of this shit. Fuck. Mickey. You're a 47 year old man. This baby shit is getting old. I'm telling you this as a friend. You need to man up. No, I'm done. Did you see the shit in that cabin? Someone's living there and gathering that shit and I'm pretty sure it's... Go ahead, say it. Say it out loud so you can hear how fucking ridiculous you sound. It's the boy, Jason. I'm telling you, he's stalking us, I can feel it. I've been hearing noises all day. Who the hell would want to live in a cabin in an abandoned campground where people got slaughtered? I'm telling you, he's going to pick us off one by he's one. He's fucking dead, Mickey. Jason Voorhees is dead. Dead, you hear me? Man up. Pick up that gun. Take a shot. Shut your fucking pie hole and move. No more smart ass remarks. No more bullshit. 5 p.m., we're walking out of here. Sorry. 
I'm going back. The fuck you just say? Look, I, I got a feeling that this is all going south real soon. It's probably just your fucking hunger pains from your brand muffin this morning. Fuck off, Bo. No, Mick, that's what you're about to do. So fuck off, bitch. I'll see you back at the truck. I'll wait for you there. Mickey, get the fuck Bye, back loser. here. Kill them, boy. Kill them all. You have to be so fucking hard on him. You know how sensitive he is. Excuse me, you're the one roughing him up and shit, telling him how to be a man and all. I did that to help him, Bo. Try and get that worry shit out of his head. You just being an asshole, as usual. Chuck, Mick is Mick. He'll forever be a wuss. And, and to be honest, he's your friend, not mine. He's just tagged along and I've tolerated it. You know, you lost a lot of fucking friends in high school. And Mickey was always there for you. He always spoke highly of you. Maybe it's time you grew up. Stop being such a fucking prick. First of all, Mickey had no friends. And secondly, it's people like Mick that always looked up to people like us. You know, you're a real fucking asshole. All right, fine. I'll apologize. Can we just move? Mickey will be fine in the truck. He'll, he'll eat his lunch and he'll drink all our beer because that's what makes Mickey happy. Fuck it. Every goddamn time I get pulled into their shit, I'm done. Done! Guys? Guys, did you change your minds and, and puss out? Mick! Think he got a deer? Who knows with him? Probably shoved his own fucking foot off. I'm calling this. What? Why? We've been here who knows how many hours. We haven't seen or heard shit. That deer ain't here, man. He probably shot that shot off to fuck up our game. Let's just go find him. I'm done doing anything with him, Chuck. You understand me? No fucking jobs, no hunting, nothing. All right. Let's just go find him. We can talk about this later, all right? Fine.
Mickey! You know, I hope he got hurt. Serves him right. He's always doing shit like this. Uh, he's the one to set the rules. You know, by no means separate. Stick together. Whole day is fucked now. Bo. Who do you think was living in that cabin? I mean, Mickey was right. There was a lot of stuff in there that shouldn't have been there. Looked like it had been lived in recently. All that shit had to belong to the Voorhees family. It was probably some trapper or vagrant rummaging through shit. Which goes to tell you, we're not the first ones here since the murders. Mickey just needs to quit with his bullshit ghost stories. I saw footprints. I mean, I didn't say anything because of Mickey, but there were a lot of footprints. And they looked fresh. So, Mac and Crazy Ralph get on their drinking sprees, disappear for a couple of days. It was probably one of them in the cabin. No, not these woods. Crazy Ralph's always telling people to stay out of here. Listen to yourself, man. You're the one that's always saying that this town has went to shit because people can't move past what happened here. You sound just like one of them assholes that you can't stand. <sighs> yeah, you're fucking right. I've been hanging around with Mickey too long. You know, Chuck, I get it. You know, with all the weird and crazy shit that goes on here. But I'd bet good money that it's those crazy old farts that stirring shit up. Yeah, you're probably right. Look, we can check out another area, so the day's not a total wash. We still got time. Nah. I'd rather go back to town. You know, hit the bar, throw down a few beers. You know, I'm, I'm too fucking pissed to stare down a barrel of a gun right now. <laughs> fucking Mickey. Mickey! Don't fuck around, asshole. It's a good way to get your head blown off. Bo. Oh, shit. You must have got a deer. No. The shell's within feet of the blood. You think a deer walked up to Mickey and he shot it point blank? Don't be stupid. Shit. You're right. This is Mickey's blood. And a lot of it. Fuck. Doesn't it look like something got dragged off in that direction? Stop already. No. He shot himself in the foot like you said. Probably hobble back to the truck. That's not in the direction of the truck, Bo. That's in the direction of the campground. We would have seen him walking towards us. Not if he went around us. If he's hurt, he's stumbling around in all directions. He would have yelled for help. We would have hurt him. This doesn't make any fucking sense. This ain't good, Bo. This had to be a fucking bear. What do you want to do? I hate to say it, but I think we have to split up. One of us heads back to the truck, the other one heads back to the camp. Isn't that a bad idea, splitting up? This changes things. If Mick's hurt and he's bleeding out, we don't have much time. You head back to the camp, give it a once over, I'll head back to the truck. Why do you get to go to the truck? The truck's only about an hour away from here. I can make it in about 20 minutes if I hustle. You're not going anywhere with that knee of yours. Fuck me. Look, the campground's about 10 minutes that way. If Mickey's not there, head back the way we came in. If Mickey's not at the truck, I'll head into town and get help. We'll reconvene in about half an hour. Fuck it, make it fast, Chuck. All right. And seriously, I'm done with Mickey Bowitz. I heard you. This is supposed to be a great day. Bo, be careful, man. Fucking bear my ass. Leave it to a fucking amateur to shoot himself in the 
fucking foot. I ain't letting you ruin my day, Mick. Fucking around. Mick! Mick, I'm going for help, man. I'm sorry.
don't see my ass.
How are you holding up, Kathy? <laughs> Again. <laughs> I, know, I know, I know, I know. Look, we're doing everything we can at this point, okay? Look, I know what you told Kane, but do you remember the last thing that Chuck said to you? All he said was he was going hunting with the guys and he'd be back by 8 the latest. And that was 4.30 yesterday morning. <laughs> okay, okay, look, he's obvious he's in there somewhere. We'll find him, okay? Kathy, there's nothing more you can do here. Go to my car, sit inside, try to relax, keep warm, okay? If I hear anything, you'll be the first to know. Take her. Yes, sir. You sure? I gotta show you something. Somebody obviously cut those. Kathy, see this? No, not yet. I'll keep it that way. I don't want to say anything to you down here. No. Kane, we're going to keep this local jurisdiction for 48 hours to make little suits of this, okay? This town doesn't need any more attention to it, not like this. Yeah. What do you think happened? Not sure, but it ain't good. Okay, folks, there it is. As you know, Chuck Roberts, Mickey Boats, and Bo Thompson went hunting yesterday. It's been roughly 24 hours since they were last seen. What I want is a clean sweep, 15 to 30 yards apart. I just radioed half my men, they'll be here shortly. Let's make our way to the lake and bring our boys back home. They can't be far. I warned you. I warned you all. But nobody wanted to believe me. Cut the crap back. We ain't gonna stand for no weirdness out here. I told you that before. <laughs> that dead boy, he's always alive, Sheriff. And them other boys, they're just gone. Oh, for Christ's sake, gone. Mac. Get him out of here, Kate. Get his ass out of here! Take him back down, to the town. <laughs> get him far enough away from me before I fucking shoot him. Get down here, John. I don't want that to be compared to the my car. Look, you guys want to help? This is what I need right now, okay? All right, I got him. Come on, Mac. In the truck. Come on. In the truck. Back to town. In the truck, Mac. In the truck. Get in. Get in. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, let it go. I want you to take Kathy back to town. Give her whatever she needs. Okay? Calm her down. Radio me if you hear anything. Yes, sir. I'll keep you posted. worry about this, okay? We're gonna find him. I'm sure those guys just drank a little bit too much last night and pitched a tent somewhere. He didn't take any gear. Come on, John. You know Chuck. He knows these woods like the back of his hand. He knew better than to go in there. I don't know why the truck is here, but I don't feel good about this. What if... Kathy, stop! Look, 
We've been through this with everyone, okay? There's nothing left in these woods. There's no legend. No spirit of Pam Voorhees. There's no Jason for that matter. Let's just take you back to town and let the search party do their thing, okay? We'll find him. We'll find him. Okay, Jason, if you're out there, we're going to put you to bed. Thank <laughs> you. 